what's good everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl patrick kiera and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys a few shoes that i picked up this month so yeah let's just get straight into it so the first pair of shoes that i am going to show you guys are these doc martens right here i got these second hand because just about everything that i buy i buy second hand if you watch my videos you already know that but these doc martens right here are actually super comfortable and i was really surprised because when i first bought doc martens my the back of my heels had blisters on them like trying to break them in if you have doc martens then you know that it is very hard to break them in it's a little bit of a process and the fact that these were in really really good condition I was surprised that my heels were not screaming and these are like my new work shoes. I wear these shoes almost every day. These are called the 1461 Mono Smooth Leather Oxford Shoes. They are 100% leather and these are still on the Doc Martens website and they're retailing for $1. 30. I already got a pair of loafers, but I really wanted like an Oxford and I just really like the fact that these are like all black. As you can see, they are just perfect. Like they're very, I wouldn't say understated, but they're a shoe that's not doing too much. They don't have the yellow stitching like most Doc Martens. So you wouldn't know that these are even Doc Martens unless you really do know them. They just look like a very high quality, durable Oxford leather shoe. And that's why I really like them. Next up on the list are my favorite sneakers right now. But we are going to get into the Pros and cons of these shoes right here. These are the Pure Moss Reebok collab. These are the, I'm pretty sure it's the Theory 4 Trail Experiment or the Theory 4 Experiment Trail. I don't know, I'll make sure to leave it right here. But these are the Pure Moss Reebok collab sneakers and I actually bought these off of my friend. If you watched my most recent video that I filmed, I filmed just different ways to style outfits for the week. I had on these babies right here. These are one of the most sexy sneakers I've ever, ever seen, honestly. I've always wanted these in this specific colorway because they do come in, I'm pretty sure it's two different other colorways. But I've always wanted this colorway because I really love red and I really enjoy the fact that it also has like a drawstring closure right here. You don't really have to tie, well you don't have to tie or untie the shoes. You can just loosen the drawstring and just pop your feet straight into it. So I do think that they're very easy in terms of just putting on a shoe very quickly and going out of the house. But now we don't get into the con. <laughs> The con of this sneaker, and I mean, I'm just speaking from the fact of sizing first. So these shoes are a, this is a six and a half in men's, which is normally the size that I wear in men's, but the European size is a 38.5, and normally I'm a 39, so they are a little snug. I suggest if you are going to purchase this shoe that you size up like half a size. I would say half a size from like your normal shoe size. With that being said, this right here, this part of the shoe, as you can see, it has like a rubber detail that's kind of holding this part of the shoe together my heels were on fire my heels were bleeding the first time i wore these shoes and i didn't go that far in them these are not a comfortable shoe to wear if you are walking around for a long time and that might just be because of the size that i got but i'm just gonna warn y'all just in case you want to get them because this is a beautiful shoe but your feet are going to be in pain if you don't get the right size and if you get the right size i don't even know I'm hoping that it'll be better, but I, this is only a half size too small. And I've made shoes work before that were a half size too small, but these are very much don't do that to yourself. These are a beautiful shoe, but you wanna make sure that you get the right size, guys. Please get the right size. But overall, I do really, really love these shoes. 
they're so sexy like I said I keep saying that and they just really elevate a look if you want to wear something casual but you want a statement piece these sneakers are definitely a statement piece in themselves next up are my other favorite sneakers right here these are my Margiela high top cutout sneakers so as you can see there's nothing in between these little cutouts right here all you're gonna see is your socks if you decide to purchase this shoe right here there's cutout details in the front and they have the same silhouette as the replica sneaker i kind of like to wear my shoes especially when i do high tops i just kind of like to let the laces hang a little bit i don't really like to tie them like taut so i just put the lace i knotted them around these little like eyelet I'm guessing that's the proper term, I don't know. But I just put them around this right here so that they don't come out. And most times when I have worn these sneakers right here, I wear them with like baggy pants, like cargo pants, carpenter pants, or just like baggy jeans. And I think it looks really good together. I saw a girl style them with a dress on Instagram and it looked really freaking cute. So I'm thinking of doing that this summer if I can find like some really cute like summer dresses that will go well with this sneaker right here because I think that could be a vibe. I really love these sneakers. I just got to get a suede cleaner for them so that I can, I need to get a suede cleaner and a suede protector that way when I wear them around the city they do not scuff or get ruined. I will die if I ruin these shoes because I am really so obsessed with these. They weren't even priced that high and I ended up seeing them on the real real. So I'm assuming I saw them on the real real for like maybe a hundred dollars. They weren't that expensive. They were not expensive at all. So I'm assuming that these did not retail for a lot because I also saw them on uh, another one of those like luxury department store websites for like 320. They were sold out, but they were on there so i'm assuming that these don't they didn't retail for a lot so maybe that's why i got them at such a good price but obsessed 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 i think that this is an understated margella shoe and this is my only margella sneaker i've been really wanting the low top replicas ever since i've seen sierra parker y'all already know her if you don't go check her out since I've seen her with the replicas, she's made me want them. Oh my gosh, she makes me want all Margiela, honestly, girl. You make me want all of it. But yeah, these are such a dope sneaker. And the fact that they can be styled in so many different ways makes me really, really happy because these are going to be a perfect summer sneaker. These next shoes are so bad. Like, just give them bad. Like, oh, okay, let me just show y'all. But they are these... Prada boots right here and when I tell y'all obsessed look at this look at this boot do you see this boot these boots are definitely the type of boots that you wear when you're like about to be on your bad bitch vibe like this is that type of shoe I literally just got these shoes a few days ago and I envision myself wearing these in the summertime with some cutoffs, denim cutoffs, and just like a crop top. I tried to find the official name of this boot, but unfortunately I was not able to. If you guys are familiar with this Prada boot or this silhouette right here, make sure to let me know down in the comment section. But yeah, I didn't see any real information on them, so I'm just gonna show you guys everything in terms of detail so we have the leather lace up right here in the front they have this beautiful olive green leather and on the side we have this like triple buckle detail it's kind of like an extra little facing on the boot which just gives it which just gives it a very very nice detail and on the back is how you get into the shoe it has the zipper and these boots if you don't already know i am five eight and a half so these boots are going to have me at like six at least six three i'm going to be at least six three in these boots and yeah these are going to make me have to take on a completely badass personality because 
I wouldn't expect the woman wearing these to be anything less than badass. Um, and these are my second pair of Prada shoes. These are a 39. I wear a, no, I think they're 40. These are a 40 and a half actually. I don't know why I thought that. Normally I'm a 39, but sometimes I'll go up to a 40 just so I can have extra space, especially if it's like a boot with like a, a toe that's kind of pointing in or that's starting to get a little slimmer at the toe box. I'll size up. These boots are definitely the perfect size. They've been resold on the bottom, so they are basically brand new. These are also a really comfortable shoe based on the fact that they have a platform. This right here in itself just provides a lot of support along with a thicker heel. As you can see, these are not like thin, skinny heels. They do have a little bit of width to them so they'll make sure I'm good now if I twist my ankle I might break it but it's worth it it's worth it for the Prada the Prada boots come on so the last shoe that I want to talk about with y'all today are these suede Manolo Blahnik boots and I know it's kind of late in the season because normally with the suede boot, you would wear them during the like fall slash winter. I've just been so desperate for a knee high boot. And just based on the fact that they're Manolos, I know they're gonna be comfortable, which they are. I had to have them. I literally have worn these to a basketball game and I had no problems at all walking in them. There was no pain, discomfort, and being the fact that they are once again slimmer at the toe box. I was really surprised. Um, let me just show you guys. We have this little cut out right here. They're just full black suede boots with a pointed toe. I do want to add taps on the toe box as well as on the heel so that they don't get worn down just walking around on the concrete in the city so i definitely have to take these to a shoe cobbler and one of my friends actually put me on to the idea of going to a shoe cobbler to get tabs put on to my shoe so shout out to keichi definitely going to be worth it so that the life span of these boots and all, any other shoes that I have too that are heels last as long as they possibly can. When it comes to caring for an item like this, you wanna make sure that you take care of it and make it last as long as possible. Even though I'm not paying the retail price for these items, I know the value of them and I know that they are worth a lot, so I want to take care of them as much as I can. All right, so that is the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, you already know, make sure to like the video and comment below. I also have thrifted some clothes for the summertime that I wanna show you guys. So if you want to see a thrift try on haul, make sure to let me know down below and I will see y'all in my next video.